guys, welcome back. This is Rafa here. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you on a Kawasaki and Nikon Shario C751 train. Those trains were built from 1999 to 2001 by uh, both Kawasaki and Nikon Shario. Some sets were built by Kawasaki, some, in Nikon, some by Nikon Shario. Uh, they were delivered in 21 sets. And as of today, only uh, five of them are left due to how quickly they're retiring. Uh, so we're gonna take you on one of the five. It says it's arriving in two minutes. The train departed, that just departed by the way, was a first generation uh, Kawasaki C151 train. The C751V trains are the third generation trains running on the north, south, and east, west lines. Uh, yeah, and they are getting retired together with the first generation Kawasaki C151s and the second generation Siemens C651s. I know that the next train will be the the C751B. There it is. Because of the sequence. Oh! And it horned. Nice. Said we're going to be riding today is 335 and 336. Let's get on board. That's how the interior looks like. It's actually very modern for an early 2000s train. They never went through any refurbishment, and instead they are uh, retiring. They're getting retired. As far as I know, uh, there should be a strong motor around here when the train's accelerating. Those trains use an IGBT VVVF traction control by Fuji Electric. Next station, C Main. like it when they deployed on both lines 
that way there's more variety, right? But unfortunately, that's how it is. They're deploying the, the newer trains on the North South Line, uh, like these over there, the Kawasaki and CRC uh, C151A, B, and C trains. Because either they got their maps changed out or their screens updated. Next station, Tanamera. And of course, they didn't change the screens the next station for on the, to Expo the older trains Airport. because um, probably, they probably knew that they would be retiring soon. Kawasaki were built in Kobe, uh, while the ones uh, in, uh, built by Nippon Sharyo, like this one, were built in uh, Tokoyama. I think that's what the city is called. I'll update this in the description, anyways. Since 2020, they've been gradually withdrawing all the three uh, generation, the first three generation, so, like the, the trains from the first three generations. Um, but they've been uh, retiring the uh, the Siemens C651 and the Kawasaki. Charlie C seven five one Bs more quickly than the Kawasaki C one five ones because those two tra uh, trains did not get refurbished, unlike the C one five ones which did, and uh, also because they are much smaller in fleet in compared to the C one five one trains. There were initially sixty six C one five one trains compared to only. Uh, 19 Siemens C651 trains and uh, 21 C751B trains, uh, which makes uh, 40 trains altogether still smaller compared to the 66 C151 trains. So they wanted to uh, retire the smaller fleet first, presumably. Enthusiasts uh, hate this uh, because we like the rare stuff. We like the the unrefurbished trains, um, and unfortunately, this this often gives an advantage for the operator to retire the fleet more quickly, and that's what they are doing. Now, of course, they are retiring some C-151 trains at the same time. Um, but they're mainly focusing on retiring the, the other two generations. And what's frustrating is that they, they're also retiring the, the, the newer trains first, in a way. But it's, uh, it's good that all three models are still in service. Probably won't be for long though. The second and third generation trains might just might get retired in a matter of months. The second generation C651 trains were actually supposed to get refurbished. Uh, but after refurbishing three trains, they, um, their, their refurbishment got uh, cancelled. 
and they eventually decided to retire those trains instead, together with the C751 trains, uh, which where there was where um, next station. The they never planned to refurbish them. I mean, in, in probably a long time ago, they would have um, thought of refurbishing it in, refurbishing their trains in the future. But uh, eventually, they decided to just extend the contract, extend the order for more Alstom Movia R151, the trains that were initially meant to replace the. Uh, C-151s, to also replace the C-651s and the C-751Bs um, because they don't make a, a big part of the fleet and they're not, not that new too, so they thought it, it would just be um, more efficient, like it would uh, cost less than actually refurbishing the trains. And again, it's something that we enthusiasts hate because um, that means that all three train models that were that actually made the made up the whole fleet of the North, South, and East, West lines until uh, until 2011, when the C151A trains debuted it, um, and that's not that long ago if you think about it. All of those trains will be replaced into one model. And I already made a video on the Alstom Movia R151. They aren't trains that I really like. I don't find they give a nice vibe. Uh, I find they also have a lot of uh, faults. But we'll see how it eventually rolls out. That's how it is, unfortunately. as a base uh, for the next generation uh, trains on the on the uh, North South and East West lines. The next few trains built by Kawasaki and CRRC, meaning the C151A, which entered service in 2011, the C151B, which entered service in 2017, and um, the C151C, which entered service in 2018, uh, they were all, they're actually all, their design is based on uh, this train model. Um, they look pretty similar on the interior, like in terms of shape. Of course, like the, the colors are, are different. The flooring is different, for example, the aircons are different. Uh, their interior is much more modern, of course, but overall the, the shape is really the same and their motor is also um, almost the same a few differences in how they sound um, I mean the C751B trains those trains compared to the um, the other, the other uh, newer three trains that I mentioned but overall they they sound very similar manufactured by Kawasaki and Nippon Shario, while for the, um, for the next three generation trains on the North, South and East West lines, um, it's only their manufacturer and, no actually I should say, uh, they were designed by Kawasaki, but actually all of the manufacturing uh, was done by uh, CRRC, a, um, a company based in Tsingdao, and so the trains were also built in there.
I love the light here. See guys, this is the C151V train which entered service in 2017. Their design overall looks uh, similar. Of course, as you can see, the interior is more modern on that one than that one. Um, overall, they're very similar. You also see how they sound similar. And they even look similar on the front and back. Wait, wait guys, let me show you. They both have that smiley, cheeky face. Huh. Alright guys, this is it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you learned uh, something about, uh, about this train. Uh, as usual guys, comment down on what Buster train model you'd like me to get on and talk about. Uh, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.